Yeah. You know, a stay in your body for like seven years. <laughs> What up, though, y'all? This is a girl, Ray Marie. You can follow me on Instagram, A R 3 Y M A R I E. And I'm from Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um,. Before we started the video, you said that you came here from what, Fort Lauderdale? Yep, I moved uh, from Detroit when I was like in third grade, and then I came back my last year of high school. Okay, okay. Yep. So what was it like coming back here, you know, from there? Uh, you ever saw one of the movies like where a girl had to move away from her city and she was like so comfortable with like her friends and stuff? Mm -hmm. That's how I was. I was crying every day. I was calling my friends in the bathroom crying like, oh my God, I hate it here. <laughs> were, you, were you not accepted? Or? I mean, I was accepted. People like loved me, you but they just thought I was mean because like I didn't talk to nobody. Mm -hmm. yeah. You were to yourself. You yeah, I was, I was to myself. I did not like it, but I mean, eventually, like, like I adjusted to it, but you know, it was just still different, you know, like it's just a different atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. So what did you pick up on as far as atmosphere in Detroit? Like what what did you internalize here? Um getting back the culture, like mixing it with Florida, like with the pop music, the mm. just the whole vibe, like it's I mean, honestly, I grown to love Detroit because, I mean, it teach you how to be, like, really rough. Like, I was rough back then, but now I'm just, like, real rough with a lot of stuff and, and people. Mm -hmm. And it taught me how to be, like, to myself, kind of, because mm -hmm. it's, like, our new generation is, like, totally different. Yeah. So, as far as, like, you, before, you, you know, we got on camera, you said you were on a fast. Oh, know? yeah. So, now... Being, you know, now in Detroit and you said it was rough and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Now, like, being on this fast, do you think it's, like, helping you remove and open up more those blocks that you had previously from, like, yeah. being closed in? And, you yeah, know? I'm definitely doing, like, uh, self-healing and that's, like, another project that I'm working on as far as in, like, clearing my chakras and, you know, just basically, like, clearing all the blockages, just, you know... Um, just growing up like so toxic and just holding on to like you know past situations and you know just oh drama like oh this person might be like this or this person might be like that so yeah this 21 day fast is like really like showing me like clarity and you know just patience um, how to just you know let free for real so mm -hmm. I mean it's not well the first couple days it was hell I was fucking starving. I'm sorry, I don't know if I should cuss. <laughs> but I was fucking starving. But today is my seventh day. I'm not hungry. Uh, sometimes I feel kind of, you know, weak. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's just it's just all worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like you get spiritual clarity. Like, you know, you just feel great. You know, I just I always wanted to feel like a hundred percent, like just great. Like just like with everything i don't want to think about negative things i just want to let all that go in the past and you know just meditating like it brought me to this fast so you know when you call you just gotta go for it yeah so all you're drinking like all you're not eating anything but just drinking water for mm -hmm. 21 days yep okay yeah that sound hard that yeah. sound hard <laughs> like we tried to do it with a fasting back in january mm -hmm. um well not even necessarily fasting just drinking just more water right and we couldn't even do that so <laughs> I, I can't even imagine like just only drinking water yeah it's definitely discipline but when you know you want to change you know everybody you know grow up different and you know go through certain situations differently so like I just know I'm just like fuck it I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it I gotta get past all my fears and I just gotta go for it because mm -hmm. like I said like everybody different but when you call to do something like you know whoever you praise they'll get you through it absolutely so mm -hmm. yeah so social media so you're also taking a break from social media as well right now yeah so how how's that going because I know in this day and age like social media is everything you wake up to it, go yeah. to sleep to yeah. it. See, that's, <laughs> that's another thing. Like, I was never really, like, the social media type until, like, um, 
when I was 18, I got into comedian, um, you know, with a comedian, I will, whatever. And after that, it just went skyrocket and mm -hmm. people didn't even know that I wasn't even a singer like I sung, but I didn't do music until 2016. So it's like, you know, people expect you or put you like on some platform and expect you to be a certain way and be like, okay, do you even know me? Like, do you mm -hmm. even know that? Like, I really haven't been doing music. I love music and, you know, it's just, you don't want to just jump out there and put yourself out there. You know what I'm right. saying? You want to get to know yourself because it's like the music that people listen to that change the way they think, change the way they act. And it's like, when I do really put my music out here, like I want to, um, you know, just put great messages out here. Like, it's going to be fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mm -hmm. boring, you know, as you know. But at the same time, I got to, I can't write music off of hurt and have women, you know, degrade in they self and, you know, wanting to go, you know, fucking hundred niggas because they got hurt. Like, I want to let them know that you can self-heal from it. You know, it's just ways of doing it. So, mm -hmm. social media, it never been a really big issue for me to be off of it wow. it was just that i was put pressure on myself because i'm like well, everybody expect me to just be on there all the time and it was just driving me crazy but it's like that's what's like mentally like fucking up our generation mm -hmm. is they feel like they have to be on it to like prove something it's like you know i'm living good and i don't have to prove that to nobody you know and i just want everybody else to feel that way. right yeah so and plus you know you know your real fans and people that really support you no matter mm -hmm. how long you gone, mm -hmm. when you come back, they gonna still be there. Yeah. They gonna still be they there. They will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you said that you started singing in 2016. So what kind of, well not started singing, but really Just put recording. music out there and recording. So what made you start doing that then? Uh, well, I have like, well she know my real sister, but you know, mm -hmm. blood could make us any, you know, closer or whatever. She was like, oh my God, in the studio, you know, I met her at Home Depot. I was working at Home Depot at McDonald's back then before all this social media stuff. Mm -hmm. And she just loved my hustle. So she paid for my first studio session. Um, I had recorded this song on Fleet that I am bringing back out. Uh, well, actually doing a video for it. So yeah, like she just really pushed me to like get in that studio. I met a DJ at Airtime. And me as an artist, I'm like, okay, like, play my song. He played my song. He was mm -hmm. also a producer. We made Boyfriend. Uh, that actually got liked by Snoop. But, you know, just being, if I would have did it the smarter way, I know that it would have been, you know, more than what a like, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, you've kind of been MIA a little bit. So, is there something that you're working on behind the scenes or... Are you just taking a break solely, you know, from a lot of things? Uh, I'm not actually taking a break from music because I have been writing and um, working on my self-healing project. And also, I just dropped a promo for my I Believe. Mm -hmm. So that will be coming out before my project. Uh, I did a whole march for it with the kids and, you know, a couple family members came. So, yeah, like that will be dropping soon in due time. You know, I just been you know meditating all the time and i don't want to drop it and then it's just like uh all right right so yeah that that is gonna be big because that's like a uh i believe i could fly type song mm -hmm. but it's more so like the kids or anybody that's like chasing after their dreams i mean i can say the hook i ain't got no time to sleep i gotta chase my dreams i gotta go hard because i believe i believe and it's basically like uh like during the video is just showing like flashes of like what people go through on a regular day basis. You got the kids marching for like greatness. So mm -hmm. that will be dropping, you know, very soon. You know, not only are you a good singer, mm -hmm. but you're also a good dancer as well. You know, like when you do like your shows <laughs> and stuff like that. It was on the same track. Like, I can't wait to get back into that. Yeah, yes. hey, you cold. I was Thank watching you. your videos like, hey! Because <laughs> like, put a lot of power into it. It makes people like really look like, all right, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> feel like you about to get up there and start dancing too. You feel the energy yeah. and everything, even when you sing and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. good vibes. Even your presence today, that's why I'm like, thank you. Good vibes. <laughs> I like, will be turning back to um. I don't know if you ever heard, but um. Her name is Tiffany. She's an instructor for Body Shop Experts. That's mm -hmm. who I actually really start 
um, dancing with. So once my fast is over, I will be, you know, posting videos of just getting back dancing mm -hmm. and just, you know, going hard, you know, getting my weight back up, of course, but mm -hmm. just going hard with the dancing like how I was before. It's just, you know, everything is a process. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So have you always um, been dancing and singing at the same time or when we came before the other? Um, I mean, when I was in Florida, like I was in a majorette and then I was in track and cheerleading. So I, I was more like an athlete than anything. Mm -hmm. And then when I came down here and moved with my dad, I just started writing like crazy. Like just, cause I always been around like people that did music, hearing them on the radio and you know, shit, I was crying like it was me. <laughs> so even though I was on the radio before, but you know, I was, I always been a great writer. Like if I didn't do none of my work, I wrote a lot of paragraphs. <laughs> so <laughs> I've always been a writer. I just took that energy into my music and to my pain and, you know. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I like to, you know, hear stuff like that. Like it sounds mm -hmm. like you are really on a good path for yourself as right. far as, you know, not only with your fast and then things that you're trying to do to better, you know, yourself, mm -hmm. but um, still continue with their music and with, with your dance and so we definitely look forward to anything that you got coming out you know we're going to support it regardless so <laughs> definitely send it our way you know what I mean and we'll post it on our page and stuff like that too thank so. you so much <laughs> and we want to um thank you for coming out you know mm -hmm. to Real Visual Outlet and letting us interview you well I appreciate you for you know <laughs> bringing me on because you know some people if they don't see you everywhere they just don't you mm -hmm. know even give it a try or see what you up to. So I definitely appreciate yeah. you. Well, you, you always give us Yeah, you left an impact, <laughs> so I, I never forget you, so. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all can follow me um, on Instagram, a Ray Marie, A-R-3-Y-M-A-R-I-E. All right, and again, look out for some new music from her. It's coming soon. Yep, stay tuned. These niggas praying on my downfall. These niggas praying on my downfall. On my downfall. These niggas praying on my downfall. They pick you up, knock you back, down and pick you up, pick you up. These bitches praying on my downfall. These bitches praying on my downfall. These bitches praying on my downfall. I from Detroit, come up off the freeway. If you ain't from round here, better be easy. You're that boy chick Christian These niggas in my hood that do your ass crazy They go after the Mac, you don't wanna fuck with that Feeling like Matasha, bitch I'm about to bounce back Shout out to your boo, get respect when it's due Bitches praying on a downfall, you know how they do